He's outside. Look at him at the beach. <laughs> uh, that is actually my beach over in Manitoba Key. They just redid that. So it's uh, it's nice. It's nice to have a beach again. It's nice. It's nice. It's great. <laughs> Alrighty. So there's a picture. Well, that, is it a picture like a, a yeah, background a picture? Yeah, that's uh, actually okay. the, there's a long pipe in the background. Uh, that's what they would use to pipe in the sand. So there's a ship, or there's usually a ship out in the background, or there was that would pump the sand in from offshore. Yeah, it was bad for a long time. Close on this, and we are going to talk about Facebook today. So the first All thing right. to start off is I'm going to ask you a question. How many people do you think Facebook gets to be, or how many people do you think use Facebook in a month? A oh, lot. <laughs> hey, I will maybe. Couple million is is a good guess, but it's actually about two point six billion people. Billion, <laughs> yeah, not even close. Yeah. So two point six billion Yo, people all around the world that you guys could reach, uh, but that would take a lot of money or a lot of time. Yeah. So our goal is to reach like maybe a hundred thousand. I think that would be a good reach total. Um, and when I say reach, that means we want someone to see us and kind of hear about us at least once. 
Um, we want to be heard about seven times, though, or seen about seven times so people can be like, oh, yeah, I remember seeing them before. Or let's talk to this person. Mm -hmm. So we are going, I'm going to teach you guys how to build your business Facebook page. And then I think I'm going to do another class next month on how to really reach people more. So today we're going to be talking about building. And next month we'll talk about building that reach. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead, uh, just to also let you know that I am recording this. So if you want to go back at any time, you can check it out, see what I did um, as much as you want. So I'm going to share my screen. Okay. And then if I'm not looking at you directly, <clears throat> forgive me, because I have two screens. One has my, uh, yeah. <laughs> the other one has my camera. So I won't be always looking over here. Um, yeah. <laughs> so I'm going to share my screen. Uh, let me pull it up. What am I going to start? I'm also going to stop my video. I'm going to down there. All right. Do you see my mouse moving on my screen by any chance? Yes. Okay, good. So we're inside of my personal Facebook right now. Uh, we can see that I have friends online. Um, my stories up here. It's my so I have a lot of realtors in my Facebook. You'll see my notifications up here. Uh, we are going to go up to the blue bar where it says search, and right next to my name, it'll say home and create. I'm going to click on create. Then I'm going to create a page. Just do it. So, Page, I'm going to give it a choice between a business or a brand or a community or public figure. You want to You're going to be a business or a brand. And from this business or brand, we're going to fill in a name. So let's see, I have how many business pages do I have? Oh, I guess I can create a name. Blake Whitfold. Tech trainer. Or O R or E R. Hmm. Sorry, I'm going to embarrass myself by saying that I am part of the spell check generation. <laughs> One second. Okay. Trainer. And my category is going to be real estate. So when you start typing in category, there's going to be a whole bunch that pop up. A uh, real estate agent will be one of those. That's the one you'll choose. Uh, you could also choose real estate, okay. so more general. But I would say real estate agent is what you guys want. I'm going to choose real estate. Okay. And the address is going to be the office address. So the office address is 1160 South McCall Road. Inglewood, Florida, three four two two three. Uh, if you're joining us and you aren't part of the market center, you're going to put whatever companies that you belong to. You're going to put their address in there. Okay. And then the phone number is going to be your personal phone number that you want people to access. So if they were looking to reach you you're going to give them that phone number you want them to reach you at. So I'm going to put um, this one. That is my Google Voice number. I'll click Continue. Oh, why did that change? Oh, because I used an autofill. That's it. So 
So once you fill in that information, you'll click continue. It's going to ask you to upload a profile picture. So I'm going to upload a profile picture. Now, let's see. My headshots are in desktop. Real estate. And I'm uploading a headshot right now. I'm gonna ask a cover photo. The cover photo is this larger area in here, and the profile photo is the smaller one over here. So this is they're asking for a big cover photo. I'm gonna upload a cover photo that I made yesterday. That I can add an online calendar, which I will. And if, as an agent, if you want to add a calendar, uh, that'd be great if you're looking to make appointments. Someone can make an appointment with you online. Uh, it, it would work out rather well to have the calendar on there to show availability as well. So I'm going to add online booking. And it created a business page for me. So at this point, we are through well, one of the hardest parts is just setting it up. Uh, the next part is going to be going through and inviting my friends to like my page. So I'm going to invite only a couple because this is a demo page. I'm probably going to delete this. I'm going to invite Lisa. I'll invite Jean. Uh, take coats. We'll just invite everybody on this page here. Uh, it'll say, see all friends. I can see all of them if I want to. Uh, I can go through, I can select all, and which is exactly what you wanna do is you wanna select all of your friends and send out the invites. And that's really how you're gonna start building up your likes on your Facebook page, or on your business page. So the way a business page works is that instead of people going onto your personal page and friending you. Oh, sorry, let me give me, I'm gonna start the video on my video again. So instead of somebody going into your personal page and friending you, they're just liking your business. So they're only gonna be seeing what's on your business page versus your personal page. They're two separate things. Uh, I also wanna warn, whatever you put out on the internet, is on the internet. Even if you delete it, it will forever be on there and someone can find it. I would not talk about religion. I would not talk about polit politics. I would not talk about um, anything that could get you in trouble with someone that doesn't believe on the same side that you believe. I would publish something that it would be okay if my grandma saw it. That's how I like to think. If I'm worried about is this appropriate or not, I'm going to say, would my grandma be okay seeing this? Would I feel bad if she said, oh, I saw your post? That's what I, I gauge by. Uh, unless your grandma is a little bit into that kind of stuff, I, I wouldn't use their as gauge. Or maybe what would a religious leader think about it type deal. That's how you want to gauge what kind of posts you're putting out there. Uh, unless your brand is to be on one side or the other of an issue, because I'm, I'm, when I'm saying this, there's a lot of politics that are happening. I would steer clear of all politics. That's, that's just going to be my, my tip. Uh, okay, so back to this. So I have the page set up. I invited some friends. Uh, you should be inviting all of your Facebook friends. And I can create, go through here, it says online booking, and I can create my list of services, review appointment availability, and test booking an appointment. So it'll be setting up my online booking. I can do that. I could create a post, which I'm going to do now. And I'm going to say, welcome to my new business page. I'm going to stop my video because I'm not looking at you guys. And I'm going to put some exclamation points. Now, posts with 
video and photo do a lot better than just text posts. So I would suggest putting a video or a photo with everything. Video does a lot better than everything else. So I'm going to choose a photo. And I'm going to just go into uh, I'll post the flyer for today's or the picture for today's class. And I'm going to click post. And it is loading right now. Come on. Where did it go? Oh, live technology, isn't it fun? Come on. Sometimes it takes a little bit for posts to go through. I'm not sure why. See, this wants me to invite more friends. Oh, here's the post. So welcome to my new business page, and I put a picture on here. And you see it's catchy with the reds and the whites. It makes my eye drawn to this. Uh, video movement catches the eye as well, and we'll have people stopping to look at that comment. Uh, this cover photo is very bland and boring. I would not have this. I would actually have something along the lines. I'll show you my, um, my other business Facebook page to give you an example. So this is my realtor page. Something along the lines of this. So it has all of my contact information here right available for people. It shows my brokerage, my address, and that each office is independently owned and operated. This is actually my business card. And I just put that as my cover photo. So I'm gonna go back to the one we're working on. All right, so we're back inside. Uh, I can click on services. I'm gonna see more on the side here. And that's on the left-hand side. And I'm going to click on about. So it has my address in here already. I can edit my business details, which I'm going to do that. Uh, my price range, I'm gonna say I'm pretty pricey. I'll say changes. It's going to be the same thing. So I'm going to add my email. This is my work email. I'm going to save this. My website. Uh, I'm going to put in my KW website. Save that. Click edit other accounts and I can add more accounts onto here. This is in the about section again. Uh, I'm gonna go down, I can go into edit my about info. So this is about the page or about what I do. I can type in there. Uh, edit my impression, which is very similar to what that is. Uh, so it's, that's more of a European thing. Uh, if I was a restaurant, I can add a menu. Uh, I can put my privacy policy in here. So all, I'll click save. Apparently it doesn't like my privacy policy. I'll just click cancel. Um, what I would do is just look for a privacy policy and copy and paste it in there. Real estate, this is going to just show you other people who are also in the same real estate category. I'm gonna go back to the left-hand side and click on the see more. Um, we're gonna look at just some other things in here. Um, you can post videos and the videos are gonna pop up in here once you put them in your discussion or your posts. You can have different offers. Uh, reviews, once you get reviews, you, they will be posted in here and then you can use those to advertise yourself. I, this doesn't have a rating yet. Services, it's gonna show what services I have. I'm gonna click add a service. 
I can say I have a fixed price of $35 an hour. I put a description in here. What's that? One hour. I'll click save. And it adds a service on here. And it will show that. So people can see what services you offer. Um, your services would be, um, you know, showing homes, creating listings, things like that. You wouldn't have to list them individually, but I would just put realtor services and then no definite price, just that the fact that you have those realtor services in there for you. I'm gonna click on home. It's gonna take me to home. We're gonna talk about these tools up here. So this is taking a while to go home, so I'll just go up here. So if I click on inbox, that's going to take me to any messages that have come into this business page. Uh, on the side, I can have it from my messenger for this business page, Instagram Direct. I need to connect my Instagram for that. My Facebook or Instagram, once again, Instagram's not connected. This is from direct comments from your business page. COVID-19, uh, it's going to be COVID-19 information that you can use on your business page. So it's all this di different types of things. It's a good link to have. Any wanna, if you ever wanna post anything on your business page concerning it, you can. It's always nice to have something, especially nowadays about, you know, be safe, be healthy. Thank you, first responders. Um, showing that you care about the community is great. Uh, that's going to bring you a long way. Also, when you're posting things, don't be afraid to post things about your, your family and things that you're doing. People like to feel connected to real people. Don't appear like a robot. Don't just be all business. There's the, it's the 80-20 principle. 80% 80 is to entertain and enlighten for your audience. 20% is about business. So if for every eight posts you have, or for every 10 posts you have, eight posts should be something enlightening or informational to your audience. And then two of those posts are, I have a brand new listing or come, you know, check with me to get a new CMA. Um, I, you know, I'd love to help you buy, sell, or invest in real estate. Those should be your 20%. People want real people to work with. So I'm going to click appointments because I was on, I said yes to bookings. So I'll have an appointment tab and it'll show all my appointments that people have booked in. And then my notifications. So notifications is gonna show me that I had made changes. This is where it's gonna tell me if someone has liked my page. Uh, it's gonna go through comments, shares, other. We can see messenger activities, any requests. And then if I click on more, we're gonna see insights. And these are going to show us, you know, how many people, how much actions on the page were, page views, page previews. It'll break it down into organic, which means free, and paid, which means you have paid for an ad for people to come to your pay, to your business page. Once you're when you're getting started, it is not a bad idea to maybe spend about 15, 16 bucks and get some paid traffic to your page. It's not going to hurt. The more you get out there, the better. Uh, organic. So you're posting your page in different groups. And we're gonna I'm going to talk about this next month in our outreach class. Um, publishing tools. If you want to schedule posts, which I highly recommend, um, you go to the side here. It says publish posts, schedule posts, drafts, and expiring posts. I can click on scheduled posts. Create a new post or create post. Um, amazing. And I'm going to click on schedule. I'm going to add a photo too. That photo, photo. You have different types of things you can upload. Uh, let me download the dot loop. So I'm going to schedule this post now. And I can create a custom date. So let's say I want this posted tomorrow at 
we'll do 130 p.m. And the question I usually get is, when is the best time to start posting things? And it really depends on what you're using. I'm going to suggest that you start about a half an hour before noon, and you can you have the window from about 11.30 till about four o'clock in the afternoon. That's the best time to start posting because people get bored at work and they start scrolling through. Right now, during COVID and quarantines, they're scrolling through constantly, so you during this time period, you could probably post whenever and still get the same response. But during other times, it's between 11.30 and 4. Uh, best dates to post, I would suggest Tuesday through Thursday. Because it's that middle of the week kind of trying to get through the workday still again. But right now, you could post on any day of the weekday and be okay. I wouldn't post on weekends because people are busy and they're doing other things besides looking at Facebook. Or at least I try to do other things besides looking at Facebook. So let's say, back to this, it's my custom date uh, for tomorrow at 1.30 p.m. I'm gonna click Schedule. And tomorrow at 1.30, this post is gonna post for me. So you can take a couple hours during the week and create posts and it's going to be schedule, and you can schedule them to go out and you don't have to worry about constantly posting. Um, how many posts would you say? I would do, do three to four a week. You don't wanna become spammy. The more you put out there, the more people will ignore, I found. Like, like oh great, another post from this person, let's keep going. Uh, I would stick to about three to four a week. You can do little things here and there. Uh, definitely respond to everyone who comments on your posts, though. Uh, so we're back in scheduled posts. Uh, drafts are things that you're thinking about sending out there, but you're not quite ready to, to push the go button yet. And expiring posts, these are ones that have expired. Videos, your video library. Um, this is all fairly new to the publishing tools on the side here. So we can go to Creator Studio. It's going to take us to a Facebook creator where we can create videos and, and uh, content right in here. So I can upload a video. I can go live. Uh, more creative tools. I can make money off of these if I wanted to. I'm going to go back. Come on, go back. Oh, there we go. Um, Videos you can cross post, so videos you can create here and then post someplace else. Sound collection. Okay, so we can make sounds and we have music in here now. That's new, that's awesome. Looks like they're trying to compete with Facebook. Not Facebook, um, this is Facebook. They're trying to compete with YouTube. Uh, lead ad forms, so the forms library, if you're looking to create, you have a specific form that you like for leads, you can create it in here. Uh, lead setup. Find your CRM, connect your CRM, manage your leads. So step one, use the search box. Where is my search box here? Ah. Let's find, let's see, command is listed. Oh, one of it's called Elliot. Okay, so it would be harder to connect the CRM from here. You can connect command to your leads through command, but not necessarily into here. So I will, I'll show you guys. You can actually see that in the coffee and command when we connect, we do a um, campaign. I think it's called campaigns. Oh no, lead accelerator. Inside of lead accelerator, we show you how to connect your Facebook and create ads to bring leads in. Um, shop, if you have a shop, you can have pending orders and orders in here. Click on more. If I go into ad center, oh, I just skipped inside. So I can create an ad directly in here, but I would always suggest creating an ad inside of command for KW agents. It's easier and it's accepted faster. Uh, if you're not with KW, you can create an ad through here. Simple, create an ad and go through the process. Uh, ad classes are a different class, so we won't be going over those. I'm going to click on Insights. 
And once again, it's going to show us all of these. Oh, we did look at that. I'm sorry. And if I go to page quality, it's going to show me the if I've had any restrictions or violations on my page. And click on edit page info. This is where it kind of gets into the nitty gritty of filling things out. Uh, you're going to add a description of what you do for real estate or as a real estate agent. Uh, very short because it's only 255 characters. You're going to look at your phone number, address, hours, and av oh, availability. You could be always open, no hours available, permanently closed. And you can put your hours in here, your price range, and your privacy policy. Uh, and then you just go through all of these. So messaging, we can set up messaging. So right now, if I have general settings, I can use the return key to send messages. So if you want the message box to pop up automatically, you can have this on and a message box will pop up. Uh, during conversation, you can have automated responses. You can add Messenger to your website, which is outside of Facebook. Templates and tabs. You can customize those for people there. Notifications. This kind of dives real deep into it. And I think I'll have just done another class on this alone. Um, so far, we've gone over how to just set up the beginning of your business page, and that is what you want to focus on. So click on settings. Oh, same thing with that page information. Um, so your homework is to actually set up a business page and get it started. If you are looking for places where you can easily design things for this picture, I suggest canva.com. It is photo editing software for people who don't know how to edit photos or do graphic designs. I love Canva. It is very, very easy to use. It's very drag and drop. If you're with KW, you can also use designs inside of command. And that you can design things for here as well. Okay. And that really covers on how to set up your business page. Does anybody have any questions? I'm going to turn my camera back on. Blake, I got a question. Sure. When you go on command and do uh, an ad for Facebook, uh -huh. what, why doesn't it go to your Facebook page, your business page? So you can only, so uh, I'm sorry, I'm trying to, with the business page, when you're looking to do an ad, you can only do an ad from a business page. Is that what you're asking? Yeah, well, well, yeah, because like when I was on, I did everything to command. I said I got um, one of Leslie Leslie Brown's. Uh huh. They let me do one, so I, I set one up and I, to, to show a house, uh -huh. but it doesn't show on my my Facebook business page. That um, it won't. So it won't show on your business page. Yeah. Yeah, so, okay, so when you set up the ad for Facebook, or inside of command, did you set it up through command? Okay. Yes. So it gave you the choice of which page you wanted to use, and you selected your business page, right? Yes. Okay. Yes. So yeah, it's not going to show up on your business page, but it'll show that you are advertising it to other people. Do you understand what I mean? Uh -huh. How do, you, how do you see it? I don't want to see it. Oh, you want to, like, you want to pre-run the ad? Or see it, yeah. yeah. Okay, so um, you know, let me, I'll, I'll take us into command and I'll show you. So, so the way we can view what the ad's going to look like is when you are in there, on the right-hand side, it'll have a preview. And that's what the ad will end yes. up being like. Okay, so there's nothing else. 
No, so yeah, it'll be on. like if so. I'm in my paid commands or, or campaigns right now. It's loading up. Give me a second. Um, so let's go. I just want to open this. Come on. There we go. So if I click on this, it should show me my preview. So here's what my ad would look like mm -hmm. in preview wise. And I put pictures in there and it's a carousel. Um, if you want to see the numbers that it gave you, you can see them on the side in the paid, in the dashboard of the paid campaigns. I clicked on paid ads. Right, because we have like how many numbers we get. So these are all drafts. So like three thousand, huh? They have like three thousand views on this, something like oh, that. Oh, good, good. No, that's good. But I got no, no leads from it. Oh, okay. So if you want to check, did you say you wanted a um, a lead ad form in there? I'm not sure if I put more of them in there. Okay. So what you need to make sure is when I am on Facebook ad right here, in number yeah. two, it's going to ask for a destination. And you'll use a Facebook lead generation form. And that'll that great the first one. Yeah, the first one. Because okay. if you use a site or landing page, it's not going to collect any information. Oh. You want this one. And I don't know why this isn't working, but. Oh, no. I messed up. <laughs> um, but yeah, you'll use a Facebook lead generation form. And that will collect leads. And where you see your leads is you'll go into contacts. I'll leave this. And you will click um, filters on and then leads only and click apply. And that'll show you all your leads that came in from the Facebook lead campaign. Okay. So right. I would go through it again, make sure it's that lead generation form is selected. Because what's going to happen is that Facebook will have it, it'll collect their information, then send them to the actual website that you want them to go to. Okay. Yeah, because I was sitting there, I'm like, I got all these looks on it and, you know, it seemed everything went good, but I'm like, there's no leads? How does that? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Not even one? <laughs> yeah. How, so how, I was, I thought it, how, how much did you spend on it, just curiosity-wise? Not much, like 15 bucks. Okay. Less than $15. That's that, I mean, that's perfect. That is the perfect price to test your stuff at if you're looking to test. So a lot of those ones, I spent the same amount. About, I spent 14, 15 bucks. I get about seven leads from it, eight leads. So make sure that lead box is on there. Yeah. Um, yeah, because I, I figure, you know, like the first few I'm doing, because it says seven days, uh -huh. but I, I just want to do 10 to $15 ones until I get comfortable right. with. Oh yeah. Doing all that thing. For sure, and I agree, as you should. Yeah, like I, you know, I already, you know, cost me a couple bucks already. You know, it's not much, you know, but just trying to, you know, it would be nice to get some leads from, you know, three thousand something. You know, I was like, right, I can't believe not one lead off of it. <laughs> yeah, that that's crazy. Um, hmm. Yeah, the only thing I could think of is that it was just sending him to a landing page instead of a lead page. Okay, yeah. okay that's good to know. I'm going to watch it. Give me one yeah. second. I'll be right yeah, back. Yeah, I'll watch your video again and keep an eye on it. All right, guys, I am going to have to cut this a little bit short. I did have a fire come up. Um, uh, if you have any questions, you can email me, blakewhitbold at kw.com.
Uh, we'll type it in the chat box. Or you Thank can you very much a call. And I'd be happy to help. So thanks Thank for you joining me. I appreciate it, Blake. Any questions, just Thank let you. me know. All right, bye-bye. Okay, bye. bye.